بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Best and most gracious. So let me have a short plug-in over here, right? Short plug-in over here. It is so important that dawa is an honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to the Muslims. It's an honor, it's a big responsibility which carries immense reward with it. So our dawa should reflect the dawa of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa See, our frame of reference when we share the message, it cannot be the Islamophobic environment. It cannot be our emotions. It cannot be our culture. Uh, our dawa, the frame of reference, should be none other than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So when we look at, unfortunately, some of the people conveying the message, may that be in England, may that be in the USA and whatnot, debate is not the default way of doing dawa. Really important. The shouting matches are not the default way of doing dawa. You know, putting people down and laughing at them and making fun of them and fun of their books, fun of their guards, that's not the default way of doing dawa. See, the default way of doing dawa is with hikmah, with a smile, with compassion, you know, with concern for the people, softness, softness in voice, uh, that is reflected with a smile on the face, that is uh, reflected to win the hearts of the people, not to defeat the people, defeat is easy to do, but we need to win the hearts and minds of the people. So for that reason, when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was approached by the Islamophobes of that time, may that be Utba, may that be Abu Jahl, may that be any other Islamophobes, you know, even when he went to the, went to the city of Taif, when people started to pick up stones, and then they were hitting him and he was all bloodied up. And he said that that was the hardest day in his life, the most toughest day of his life. Even then, he did not turn back, pick the stones and hit back at them. He did not do it. He just prayed to Allah for their guidance. Even when, you know, Abu Jahl, whenever uh, the Prophet used to go and share the message, Abu Jahl used to follow him, throw the stones at the Prophet's ankle just to hurt him. The Prophet used to get bloodied. Even then the Prophet did not turn back, became angry and yelled at Abu you know, Jahal and threw stones back at him. He never did that. One time Udba, you know, one of the Islamophobes of his time, uh, he, uh, spat, he uh, was spitting at the Prophet, peace be upon him, on his noble face. And one time when the Prophet was praying, when he was doing sajda sujood, they brought this intestines of the camel and all the dung and all the filth and he placed on back of it and everyone was laughing, all the Islamophobes. At that point, the Prophet did not got up, yell back, picked a fight, right? And threw it back to them. No, as a Prophet of Allah, as a Prophet of mercy, concerning for the people, praying for the people. He went home, his family cleaned it up and he went back to doing dawah pure, pristine way, without getting distracted, you know, smiling at the people. And as the Quran says, if all of these harsh haters of Islam, if they approach you, these ignorant people, you just leave the scene, you just say peace, and then you leave the scene. So that is the prophetic way of doing dawah. Not the shouting matches. Debate is not the default way of doing dawah. Our frame of reference should be none other than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.